I hop chocolate chip pancakes. You can easily replicate the IHOP chocolate chip pancakes by using this recipe. Let's make it. Bismillah, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 2 and half cups buttermilk, 1 quarter cup of cocoa powder, 1 quarter cup of sugar, 1 half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, 2 eggs, 1 and half teaspoons baking powder, 1 and half teaspoons baking soda, 1 teaspoon salt, 3 tablespoons unsalted melted butter, 1 vanilla bean or 1 teaspoon vanilla extract optional. In a mixing bowl add flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and sugar. Whisk it together and set aside. In buttermilk, add melted butter and eggs and vanilla extract into it. Whisk it together and add it to flour mix. Blend everything together by using whisk till smooth. Lastly, add chocolate chips and mix it together. Note, use regular standard semi-sweet chocolate chips to replicate exactly as I hop. I'm using mini semi-sweet chocolate chips as a personal preference. Up the frying pan to medium heat, add one teaspoon oil or butter to the frying pan and grease the pan. Ladle one third cup batter into the heated frying pan. Note, if mixture is too thin, you can add additional 1 quarter cup of flour. You can big or wide griddle to speed up the process by cooking 3 to 4 pancakes at the same time. Flip pancakes after bubbles rise to surface and bottoms brown, about 1 to 2 minutes. Cook until the other sides are lightly browned, remove pancake, continue the same process, Note, the pancake batter can be refrigerated for five to six hours prior to cooking. Serve hot pancakes with chocolate syrup. I'm serving here with Hershey's chocolate syrup, chocolate chips, and whipped cream. Or you can serve with scoop of chocolate ice cream and mini chocolate chips. Note, you can freeze the cooked pancakes for up to three months in the airtight bag for later use and simply reheat them in a toaster. If you like this recipe kindly hit the like button, share, and comment below. Enjoy! Thanks for watching!